What's up guys, Mark here back with another quick video and in today's video I want to talk to you about just a few of the Adobe Illustrator shortcuts that you should be using. I know that when you first start using Adobe Illustrator and you start learning shortcuts it seems kind of clunky and, and you just feel more tempted to click around anyway. But I assure you that if you can just force yourself to try and use the shortcuts, after a little while suddenly you'll find that your workflow is just so much faster. It's like 10 times faster to do anything when you know the keyboard shortcut. Also, just to let you guys know, I'm currently using Illustrator CC 2017, uh, and I'm also on a Windows computer. In fact, I've got Windows 10. But if you're on a Mac, don't worry. Basically, anytime I say the word control, just imagine I say the word command, because pretty much everything else is exactly the same. So the very first one I want to show you is one that I use all the time, and that's to do with copy pasting. So if I wanted to make a copy of this circle, for example, rather than copying with control C and pasting with control V, I could easily just click on this shape, hold down alt and just click drag away and I get a copy of that shape. Now if I wanted my second copy to be exactly where the existing copy is, so two copies one on top of the other, I could just highlight it, hit control C and then control F and control F will paste it in front. So it'll be exactly where the existing copy is but just on a new layer. If you're using another tool in Adobe Illustrator and then you want to switch back to the selection tool, you can do that just by pressing V, which will allow you to click and drag objects. The standard selection tool will select the object, or if the objects are in a group, it will select the entire group. If I've got a bunch of objects like these circles in a group, and I just wanted to select one object, I would use the direct selection tool, which is the arrow next to the selection tool. And the keyboard shortcut for that one is A. So I can then just click on the one path I want to affect and I can move that object without having to ungroup the shapes. The next few shortcuts you should know all relate to the pen tool. Uh, and these are really, really handy for me when I'm designing letters to make a new font. So to get to the pen tool, you can simply press P and then click where you want your two points. Now with this path, if I want to actually modify one of these anchor points to change the curve, I can easily hit Shift and C to get to the anchor point tool and just click on the anchor point and I can adjust those handles. If I wanted to add another point to this path, I can hit the plus symbol and then click where I want the new one. That's the add anchor point uh, tool and drag that one around. If I change my mind, I want to get rid of that. I can simply click the minus button and use the subtract anchor point tool. If you want to use the paintbrush, you can simply hit B. And if you'd rather use the blob brush tool, you can just hit Shift and B. And if you're not sure what this one's for, I have a tutorial on my channel about coloring my illustrations and why you should use the blob brush instead of the normal one. So feel free to check that out as well. I can also use the eyedropper tool by hitting I and then just clicking where I want to use it. And it will copy the style from that object. And if I need to move around the canvas, I can also hit H to use the hand tool. Now, it can be a little bit annoying having to swap from the hand tool back to whatever other tool you're using. So instead, what you can do is you can have your tool uh, accessed like the, the brush tool, and I can simply hold down the space bar and then click and drag and then release the space bar and I still have that original tool selected. All right, so I know that there's there's so many shortcuts and I really don't want to overwhelm you guys by just smashing you know so many at you at once, but there's just a few more that I think are pretty important that you should know. Uh, for bringing up the rulers on the outsides of your document, the command for that is Control or Command R, and from there you can simply click and drag to bring down a guide. If you have a shape and you want to turn that shape or path into a guide, you can simply click it and hit Control 5. And last but certainly not least, if you need to zoom in and out of your document, I recommend you just use a keyboard shortcut which is Z or Z I guess depending on how you want to pronounce it. And you can just click and drag your mouse from left to right, left to zoom out, right to zoom in. So yeah, there you have it guys. These are just a few of my personal favorite shortcuts. Like I said, there's so many that exist and you can even make your own as well. But I didn't want it to be too overwhelming. I just wanted to share some of the core ones that I use in my daily workflow. So if there are any other shortcuts that you guys recommend out there, by all means, pop them in the comments and let me know what you guys recommend. And as always, if you enjoyed the video, I'd appreciate a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, fair enough, give it a thumbs down and tell me why. 
And uh, if you like, feel free to subscribe to the channel because I'm currently working on a video pretty much every single day. Thanks very much, guys. Have a good one.